Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can get started mining cryptocurrencies in 2024 using your Windows-based computer, whether it's a gaming computer or maybe just an older computer that you did have uh, kind of sitting around. But either way, uh, you know, this is a great tutorial kind of walkthrough video on all of the different coins that you can start mining as we get closer to the Bitcoin halving and possibly the next crypto bull run. So before we dive into the video, I always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap taking a look at what's going on in the markets uh, as a point of reference if you are watching this video in the future. So. With that being said, if you're not interested in this, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the sites and programs here in just a few. So as you can see, we have a little bit of a down day in the market, about 1.65% across the board. Uh, Bitcoin down uh, about two, just over 2% today. Ethereum actually doing pretty well, uh, up 5.5% this week and just slightly up today. But overall, we are seeing a lot of red on the 24-hour column here, but more green in the seven day, so nothing too concerning overall. So with that being said, one other thing I do like to uh, mention, especially with today's topic, is up here, CoinMarketCap has this Bitcoin halving countdown. As you can see, it is roughly 113 days away, which is going to be sometime in April of this year. So super cool. Um, and traditionally, if you haven't seen my videos here uh, on the Bitcoin bull market cycles, traditionally the cycle comes uh, six to 12 months after the Bitcoin halving, we start to see new all-time highs. This has happened four to five times in the past, each time with a Bitcoin halving. Uh, so I am anticipating that we will start to see prices moving back up more uh, substantially towards all-time highs. And that just means that right now is even one of the best times to get into crypto mining because you can still get some older used hardware cheap. Um, and if you're interested at all in cryptocurrency mining, scoop up some of that hardware now uh, because if we do start to see another bull run forming uh, and prices going back up, older GPUs, CPUs, even ASIC machines are going to get very expensive and very hard to find. So while this isn't necessarily geared towards all of that, this is just a beginner's guide on how to get started mining. And the first program that I'm going to talk about here is called NiceHash. Now, if you're not familiar with NiceHash, basically what this is is a free program that you can download onto your Windows computer and essentially let it do all of the hard work for you. You tell it if you want it to mine using your CPU, your GPU, or both, and what it'll do is it'll test 20 or 30 different algorithms on your hardware and determine the most profitable at the time for your equipment. You don't have to do any research. You don't have to do any specific testing or anything like that. All you have to do is hit go. So essentially this is what the dashboard looks like and i will let you know that the link is down below if you're interested in checking this out uh, but what you would do is come over to the mining tab here as you can see i don't have any rigs connected uh, this button up here download miner or asic here you can choose what one you are most interested in most people uh, probably watching this video if you're doing this on windows will choose one of the top two sections perfectly uh, personally i prefer the second one, the nice hash miner. It's a little bit more customizable. It's the one that's been around the longest and the one I'm most familiar with, but they do have the quick miner, which is best for beginners. So do keep that in mind, but I do personally use the nice hash miner. So if I pull up nice hash here, uh, I do already have it installed. Let's see. My windows is going to take a little time to open up. Uh, but anyway, once you get the program installed, I don't know why that took so long to load there, but uh, I will say that some antiviruses will flag this program as a virus uh, because it uses the same mining algorithms that uh, certain viruses use to make profit off of your computer without you knowing. So if you do see that, 
don't be alarmed, uh, but I will say that you do have to let this through your antivirus if that does pop up. And if that's something you're not comfortable with, don't do it. It's as simple as that. Uh, I can personally say that I have this installed on my main computer as well as over the years, pretty much every Windows computer I've had has had this program and I've never run into issues. But again, if it's something you're not comfortable with, just don't do it. You know, move on to, you know, the next coming site here in just a minute. So anyway, this is what it looks like. As you can see, I have one GPU, one CPU, and all I have to do is hit start mining. Now what this will do when you first start mining is benchmark the different algorithms. So as you can see, there are seven algorithms for the RTX 2080 and one for the uh, AMD Ryzen CPU. Now since I've already run this, it's benchmarked most of them. There's one pending. The benchmark will take a little bit of time so you won't see it start mining right away when you first download the program. That's it going through the research process determining what is best for you. So all you have to do then is hit start mining and it will do everything. As you can see, it brings up the mining window here. Pretty simple. Uh, it just kind of gets going does its thing, uh, and then very quickly here you will see I already have an active rig showing up here. Now, what's really cool about this program is regardless of what is most profitable for your hardware, as you can see it's popping up another uh, benchmark there, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this just because the uh, video is running. Um, as you can see I was making 66 cents a day there. Um, but What's really cool about this program is regardless of what is most profitable for your computer, if it's, you know, ETHash or I think I saw XMR, uh, Monero uh, running there, whatever it might be, you're going to get paid out in Bitcoin. So you're not going to end up with a bunch of different random cryptocurrencies. Uh, you're just going to get paid in Bitcoin. Very simple. Um, just like that. It does everything on the back end. You just get Bitcoin showing up in your wallet here. So very, very simple. I love that feature. If you're just trying to get mining and have it be as simple as possible, this is the way to go. And as you saw in the mining section here, there are uh, the ability to mine with ASICs or uh, their own version of the OS. I do have a little bit of experience in uh, the OS, but I've never used the ASIC. I usually use Hive OS, which we'll talk about in just a minute. So that is the majority of mining at home with NiceHash. There are a few other features to this site and kind of program. If you're interested in that, go check out the full NiceHash video uh, already on the channel. But moving on here, um, the next site is called Mining Rig Rentals. Now, if you're not someone who wants to use their personal computer to mine, or maybe you don't have a computer that's capable of mining, it's maybe a laptop or something like that, or you just don't want to take the risk of damaging your hardware um, through mining, whether it's improper cooling or whatever it might be, you just don't want to damage your computer. That's perfectly valid, but you're still interested in mining. This is a great site for that, um, and it does work with NiceHash if you do go through the setup and configuration. Um, but essentially what this is, is a site where people out there who have set up GPU miners, CPU miners, or ASIC miners, they allow you to rent their rig for a certain period of time and you get the benefits of that. So as you can see here in the marketplace, there are tons of algorithms. Now this one does take a little bit more knowledge up front to know what to look for if you're interested in a specific coin, a specific algorithm, for whatever reason, um, you do have to have some knowledge around that. Now if you're looking for just Bitcoin, that's pretty easy. You got SHA-256, set that up and start mining. But all of these algorithms are out there, um, and just as an example here, what we'll do is take a look. Let me search up uh, just a SHA-256, and we'll take a look here at what's out there on the market. So as you can see, you have the country they're located in, the name, usually just kind of whatever, uh, you know, machine they're running, but uh, then you have the RPI, which is kind of how reputable they are. I usually recommend staying with the best rated um, for the best experience, obviously, but they do, you know, maybe charge a little bit of an, an upcharge for that. How much hash rate you'll be getting, the price per terahash, or if you're in a different algorithm that's maybe lower, like gigahash, megahash, kilohash, it'll say that. 
uh, per day, the minimum rental hours, and the maximum rental hours. So with this method, you do have to pay upfront to get access. Um, and usually that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be making a profit because the people renting out the rigs have to make a profit, obviously. So this I always recommend kind of just as a way to kind of test out other algorithms. Maybe if you're thinking of buying some equipment, uh, go out here, see if there's, uh, you know, like if you're looking at getting an S9. Okay, well, you know, go out here, find the S9, hook it up to the pool that you think you'd be mining with for a couple days and see if it provides the profits. Because uh, certain pools that you hook up to, whether it's, you know, in person or cloud mining or rig rentals, the pool's going to pay a little bit less because it is still a random, um, you know, solving to who gets the block, if it's your pool or not. Uh, so I think this is a great site out there for testing. Or if you do have a mining rig of your own at home, you can set up and actually rent out your rig and make a little bit of profit on top of that as well. If you're interested in seeing a video on how to do that, make sure to let me know down below because I can get a tutorial for that made as well. But again, overall, there are tons and tons of algorithms out here that you can hook up and test for as little as three hours up to, you know, multiple days or even weeks, depending on who is renting it out. So super cool. Uh, I always like to mention this site just as another one to have in the bank if you're ever looking to test out certain algorithms or just collect a little bit of a crypto without having to go through the process of investing in all the hardware yourself, setting it up, maintaining it, stuff like that. And finally, the last site slash program I want to talk about here is HiveOS. Now, if you're not familiar with HiveOS, uh, this can be a little bit uh, of a confusing program to get started with. Um, but HiveOS is, in my opinion, one of the best farm management programs and tools out there. Um, it's a Linux-based operating system that you install onto a flash drive, an SSD, a hard drive, whatever your boot media is for your rigs. And it connects into this nice dashboard, which allows you to manage and track all of your GPU mining rigs, ASICs, uh, things like that. You can hook up uh, into here, and it allows you to configure your pools, configure your miners, configure overclocks, and of course, uh, all of your stats are in one place, which is super nice. Um, you can mine to HiveOS, uh, so if you have GPU mining rigs that you just want to be paid out in Bitcoin, it's easier. You can set up a HiveOS flight sheet uh, that mines to NiceHash, which I've done before. Uh, again, if you want to see a tutorial on that, definitely let me know. But I personally think this is a great way to manage your farm and any rigs that you may have all in one place, making it less work for you. Plus, HiveOS, it's a great community. There's tons of support. You get great overclocking templates, and the forums are great for specific card issues, um, overclocking issues, weird things that might pop up. Most likely, someone else has already run into this issue and figured it out for themselves and have shared an answer out on the web. As you can see, I have my two mining rigs here, uh, both mining Doge on Mars through Unminable, but one is mining ETC hash and one of them is mining ETH hash. They both show up in the same dashboard and I can manage them the same right here. So super cool. Uh, it's a great program. And again, all the links will be down in the description below for you to check out and sign up. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I do hope to see you in my next video.